Hello, today we are going to talk about OCR capabilities with Microsoft Purview. So your organization has set up data loss prevention policies to protect sensitive information and you think you are protected. But here's the problem. DLP policies can protect only information that they can read. What if someone takes a snapshot of sensitive information and then exfiltrates it? Another issue involves PDF files. Now, there are two kinds of PDF files, or rather two types of information they contain. First, there are text-based PDFs, where the text is digitally encoded as characters, making it selectable and searchable. Then there are image-based PDFs, where a text is stored as graphical representation, essentially images of text. You can test if a PDF is text-based by selecting the text with your cursor. If you can highlight it, it is text-based. Another way to confirm it is by copying and pasting the text into a text editor. Your DLP policies can handle text-based PDFs, but won't work on the image-based PDFs without OCR enabled. Even with text-based PDFs, if the file uses proprietary text encoding, it could make the text less accessible to the DLP tools. Insiders can be clever. If they are bad actors, they will probably know these limitations and won't hesitate to use images to bypass information protection. Here is where OCR, optical character recognition, comes to the rescue. By enabling OCR in Microsoft Preview, your data loss prevention policies gain an ability to detect sensitive information within image-based PDFs and image files. With OCR enabled, Microsoft Preview can extract and analyze text embedded in the images, making it nearly impossible for bad actors to slip through unnoticed. To configure OCR, go to the Microsoft Preview portal, select Settings, and then select Optical Character Recognition OCR. You can see that the option to enable OCR is grayed out in my tenant. This is because billing is not set up. I'm using a free developer tenant for this video. Normally, an organization would have billing set up and you could enable it here. Microsoft provides a free estimate tool, which is very handy, particularly if you have a lot of images. Click the Try for Free button and select the workloads which you would like to scan. Depending on the size of your tenant, it can take a while. In my case, I have only one SharePoint site where I store the images. When the results are available, click the View Estimation button. I have only 220 images in my tenant, so the estimated charges are $0.22. Important note about graphic PDF files. At present, the estimates for the files are not supported in SharePoint and OneDrive. Additionally, keep in mind that each page within a PDF file is counted as one distinct image. So if you have one graphic-based PDF file that contains 90 pages, you will be charged for 90 images. Microsoft Preview OCR charges are based on the number of unique scanned images. Once scanned, the results are reused regardless of how many policies, users or activities involve the image. This ensures that there are going to be no duplicate charges. Once you start the estimation process, estimates will be calculated daily until you explicitly stop this. The caveat here is that the OCR and the OCR cost estimator cannot run simultaneously. So if you already have OCR enabled and you rely on it, make sure to stop the estimation process first. Select more options here and then click on stop estimation. You can always restart the estimation process, however, make sure to download the current report first. When you start a new estimation, all existing data on dashboards will be wiped out. To download the current estimates, go to the estimate dashboard and select download report to save the data in the CSV format. And here is the example of the CSV file. The Microsoft Preview OCR supports the following file formats. There are limitations of the OCR that you need to be aware of. First, the maximum supported image size is 50 megabytes. The minimum image dimensions are 50 by 50 pixels and the maximum are 16 by 16 thousand pixels. Zipped archives cannot be scanned. OCR cannot scan images embedded within Microsoft Office documents. What about existing DLP policies? Do you need to modify them after enabling OCR? 
The answer is no. Existing DLP policy will automatically start scanning images. There are OCR PowerShell commands available, but at this time, Microsoft does not offer any documentation on their usage. I'm sure it's coming. In the meantime, I'll show you a trick to find PowerShell commands for newly released features or any feature for that matter. Connect to Microsoft Preview using Exchange Online Management module and connect your session. Then try searching for anything related to the OCR like this. You'll get some unrelated commands that include OCR in their names, but you will also see the following relevant ones. Fetch current OCR configuration settings. Create new OCR configuration and configure settings. Remove current OCR configuration and modify an existing OCR configuration. When creating an OCR configuration, you can enable OCR for specific locations or exclude certain locations. Excluding specific locations is very important in order to save your organization money. While I showed you the cost estimates for my demo tenant, it is essentially empty. In a real organization with many images, OCR bills can pile up fast. For example, let's say that you have a SharePoint site where users store images of their pets or photos from corporate parties and social events. This could add to gigabytes of images that you do not need to scan. Who cares if somebody exfiltrates a photo of your manager's puppy? Now that you know how to configure OCR and control its cost, it's time to configure and optimize your settings. Focus on scanning only the locations that matter and avoid wasting money on unnecessary scans. And that wraps up today's video. Please like the video if you find it useful.